Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My amazing family, friends, and lovely people. How are you all doing? You are welcome to Amazing Grandma's channel. If you are just seeing this video for the first time, you are welcome. I appreciate you. You are the right place. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate you people for watching my video. May God really bless you. Today, I'm going to show you another Obonge recipe. It is called pumpkin leaf soup. You know, in this our abroad, let me say so, in this our abroad, you know those leafy vegetable, leafy Africa vegetable, like pumpkin leaf, water leaf, all those green leaves, not spinach, no spinach, no, all those are European uh, vegetable. It is very hard to come by in abroad. But anytime we see it in the market, we grab it quickly and make good use of it. So I'm, I bought some pumpkin, fresh pumpkin leaf. I'm going to use it to make a delicacy that I will love and enjoy. So I want to carry people along by showing you how I'm going to prepare it. So let us dive into the video now. Thank you. The ingredient I'm going to use for the pumpkin leaves are one, either the pumpkin leaf, fresh pumpkin leaves. Look at it, very fresh. For the protein, I'm going to use smoked mackerel. I have some iru here. Excuse me. I have some washed goat meat. I'm going to use uh, unripe scotch bonnet. I'm not everything green. I'm going to use unripe scotch bonnet. There are some garlic here. I'm using uh, kidneys, cow kidney, and the uh, big prawn. I'm using palm oil. Palm oil. Then I have some uh, beef seasoning. Beef seasoning here. So let me get started now. I'm going to use enough onions. I'm not going to use tomatoes. I'm going to use enough onions. So I'm going to add the wash goat meat on the pot. Hey. And the kidney. And the little. Have some time for boiling. I don't like much spices. Um, I'm going to blend the. Okay, let me add this first. That is a garlic. Just for a little bit. I'm adding canot beef seasoning. I'm adding. One, just one. Just one. Then add just little salt. I'm not a salt person. Just little is okay. Then onions. Yes. Slice the little onions and I'll cover it to boil for 20 minutes. Be right back. 
Rizikowa. Yes, I have uh, cut and uh, washed the pumpkin leaf. Now, you know that pumpkin leaf is a bit hard. It's a hard uh, vegetable that is a bit strong, stronger than the uh, spinach. So I'm going to add, I'm going to pour hot water on it to make it softer. So I have the hot water here. I'm going to pour it. I don't want to start boiling it. So to make it more. More softer. I will cover it. I'll cover it. Now I forgot to say to add a crayfish. You know, without crayfish, my soup is not it's not correct. So I'm gonna add crayfish to my soup. So that is that. The meat has been boiling for 20 minutes now. So now I'm going to add the blender there. Pepper, garlic, onions and crayfish. To eat now. Then you stir very well. And you cover to simmer for another 10 minutes. Please, if you've been watching, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up, please. And it has been boiling for 10 minutes now, so I'm going to add the smoked mackerel fish and the peeled washed brown. You wash brown, then I'll add palm oil to it. And I will cover it to simmer for seven minutes. Look at this. Even without adding the leaf, this is already a soup that you can. I'm going to add the pumpkin leaf. watch up to this point thank you so so much for watching look at our yummy pumpkin leaf soup I'm going to use it to this bagua amala ice elubo look at it so yummy let me dish the fire wow 
Wow. Go to go with Eluba. Can go with Pandedian. Can go with Eba Semola, Semolina, Semovita, whatever. Or any swallow of your choice. Any swallow, swallow of your choice. For me, Eluba. Yeah, look at. My fish must be there. Thank you so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.